and welcome to another episode of Sports and Songs Podcast. We're on season five, episode number three. This is the songs edition. My name is Dan. Andy is off on assignment. This episode, we're going to do an album review of a Van Halen album from 1981 called Fair Warning. Fair Warning. I'll bring up the album cover. Some good stuff here. Good stuff. So Fair Warning was the fourth studio album by American rock band Van Halen, released April 1981, sold more than 2 million copies, but was still the band's slowest selling album of the David Lee Roth era. Despite the album's commercially disappointing sales, Fair Warning was met with mostly positive reviews from critics. The album is also listed by Esquire as one of the 75 albums every man should own. I found that pretty interesting. Um, Good stuff. This is their early, you know, some of their early work here. Not too um, commercial pop sounding, but more, um, more metal, more heavy. The genre is considered hard rock, heavy metal. The album length is 31 minutes, 11 seconds of the Warner Brothers label. The producer's Ted Templeman. Now, the album's cover artwork features detail from an artwork called The Maze by Canadian artist William Kurilek, which depicts his tortured youth. Now, Kurilek has an interesting story as a Ukrainian uh, individual came over to Canada, was in and out of mental um, hospitals and had issues with his background and his upbringing. He ended up dying in 1977 but put together some very famous artwork. Um, This one was part of it. The maze that he did was a large elaborate painting. This was just a section of that. Allegedly it was used or taken without permission. Alex Van Halen liked this painting and wanted to convey this segment on the album. I just found out recently that uh, I guess it was taken without even using permission from the family. But Kurilek died in 1977. This album came out in 81. Alex Van Halen wanted to use it. So there's the meaning of the cover. The album's cover artwork is accompanied by an insert of a black and white portrait of the members of the band, in addition to another black and white photo of an exterior wall featuring cracked windows and a lyric from the album's opening song, Mean Street, in handwritten graffiti. The second photo was taken by famed rock photographer Neil Z- uh, Z- Z- uh, Now, in retrospect, uh, the re- review by All Music's Stephen Thomas Earlwine found the album fairly positive, but in the review he initially stated it's a dark, quote, it's a dark, strange beast, part- partially because it lacks any song as purely fun as the hits from the previous first three records. You know, Van Halen was known for having some fun, uh, some comic, uh, some lighthearted songs that they released. This one was not the case. And so, quote, whatever the reason, Fair Warning winds up as a dark, dirty, nasty piece of work. Dull, it is not. And Fair Warning contains some of the fiercest, hardest music Van Halen ever made. There's little question. Eddie Van Halen won whatever internal skirmishes they had, even with the lack of a single dedicated instrumental showcase. Here's the tracking, track listings. And this album does contain two of my favorite songs from uh, Van Halen of all time. Number one is Mean Street. Song number one is Mean Street. Song two is Dirty Movies. Song three is Sinner's Swing. Song four is Hear About It Later. Song five, my favorite time, favorite all time song from Van Halen, Unchained. Unchained. Excellent, excellent piece of work. Next song is Push Comes to Shove. Next song is So This Is Love. The album rounds out with a couple of two minute pieces. Sunday Afternoon in the Park is just an instrumental that's two minutes long. It leads into the song One Foot Out the Door. Another, just a short song, two minutes long. So in total, nine songs. The personnel, David Lee Roth on lead vocals, Eddie Van Halen, guitar, synthesizers, Michael Anthony, bass, 
Alex Van Halen drum, drums. Here's a singles released from Fair Warning. June of 1981, So This Is Love. Uh, not that memorable for me. Uh, it wasn't a big favorite song of mine, but the next one, when they released Unchained in July of 1981, uh, very good. And then they, they released it, followed up with Mean Street. Mean Street. And then finally, hear about it later, another uh, average average song. Now, the Rolling Stone album guide, however, gave the album two and a half stars out of five, stating that the, quote, most significant musical development is the synthesizer introduced at the end of Fair Warning, which would be exploited to greater effects on later albums. So they really got into the synth, really got into the synthesizer on this album, on the second half of the album, and really led to more things, uh, you know, with the talent of Eddie Van Halen. The previous album was Women and Children First. We've reviewed that one. Um, and then the subsequent album after this was Diver Down. We reviewed that one as well. Once again, the album went double platinum. The studio they used was Sunset Sound, Sunset Sound Recorders in Hollywood. Um, very popular place as well. So these guys were very popular at the time, put out some very good music. And in reading the comments, I, I went through and did the album, um, listened to the songs again on YouTube and read all the various comments. Very underrated album by many hardcore Van Halen fans were surprised that it only went double platinum instead of triple or four times platinum. Very underrated. The music that these individuals put forth, uh, you know, even if the songs were just just average on some of these uh, little known songs, the musician and the music on these, a very talented group of guys. Many comments that I saw over and over again were, this band was ahead of its time musically. Ahead of its time. I mean, the drum work, the bass lines, and Eddie Van Halen's guitar work is, is just unbelievable on this album. Once again, the album is Fair Warning, 1981 by Van Halen. Go out and get it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Please leave your comments below and suggestions on future albums in the comments section. Have a good week.